going to be showing you how to perform a taping application for adhesive capsulitis. I've had several patients with adhesive capsulitis and I've tried many different taping applications. This one seems to be the one that works the best with my clients. There are other applications. Go around, look for other ones. I'm just saying this is the one that I have found that works the best with my clients. What you're going to want to do is cut one I strip and two Y strips. With all of the strips, you're going to want to round the edges. With the I strip, to turn it into a Y strip, you are going to fold it so that you have one to two inches left. You're going to cut it right down the middle. And then on the tails, you are going to again round the edges. You're going to cut two of those. For the third strip, the eye strip, you are going to do the same thing around the edges, only this time you're going to fold the tape in half and then cut a slit down the middle, leaving about one inch on either side. With your Y strip, you are going to apply the base at the deltoid tuberosity. If you don't know where the deltoid tuberosity is, you can have the client flex their arms and just go into adduction. Wherever the deltoid ends, that's where you are going to apply the base. With zero tension at all, you're going to rub to activate the adhesive. Now, you are going to put two inhibition strips. So for this one over here, to inhibit the anterior deltoid, what we're going to do is have the client go and reach behind their back. Once they've reached behind their back, with very light tension, you're going to trace the anterior deltoid. And rub to activate the adhesive. Then we will take them into flexion and adduction. So get them to hold their arm towards their chest as much as possible. And you are going to trace the posterior deltoid with very little tension. We're going to activate the adhesive, making sure that the end has no tension in it at all. And then have the client relax their arm. So you can see whenever they move their arm, there's going to be convolutions. So if you see convolutions when they move their arm, you know you did right your, your job. The eye strip with the slit in the middle. What you're going to do for this one? Just lateral to the Y strip. You are going to apply your eye strip. Using your knuckle, you're going to put your knuckle inside of the little slit and then create a little bit of a gap between the two. And you want it to end at the coracoid process. So this one over here, I cut it a little bit short. You want it to end a little bit higher. Uh, but yeah, basically, I strip, slit down the middle, all the way to the coracoid process. Your second Y strip, tear the uh, edges off. Right in between the I strip with the slit and the Y strip, on a bit of an angle, you are going to apply the base, rub to activate the adhesive. And again, the client is going to turn and hold their arm to their chest. Now, with this one, what you want to do is trace the scapula. So very light tension, you are going to trace the superior border of the scapula. And the 
go to the inferior angle of the scapula. Rub to activate, and then when they relax, you can see whenever they move around, you're going to get convolutions that's going to improve blood flow and will help to decrease any pain that your client may be experiencing from their adhesive capsulitis.